How's everybody day going man? In today's video, I'm going to be kind of like showing y'all each of the workout for my new chest and back workout, my full workout. So I'm gonna be explaining how many sets and uh, sets and reps I do and kind of how like uh, perform it with the right form. If you enjoyed these helpful videos, let me know in the comment section. Also like the video so I can share my videos with more people with the algorithm. Also subscribe with post notes on. Enjoy the video. For the dumbbell bench press, make sure you arch your back. Uh, just think about like a regular bench press, you know, place your feet in the ground as you would. And as you go up, don't forget not to sink your chest in. Don't do that. Always puff out your chest and then go up and like really feel that contraction and then go down. And just think about like a normal uh, bench press, but with dumbbells and make sure you do a weight where like I warm up in my first set. My first like, um, not set, but I warm up was uh, 30 pounds and then I go like 35 and then uh, 40, 45, and maybe 50. Uh, I do six to eight sets, about sometimes 10, I mean reps. I do about six to eight reps, sometimes 10 reps, and uh, make sure you go to failure for the last two sets. Well, for the third set, don't go to failure, but go close to it, and then the last set, of course, go to failure, and if you want to, drop set, but you might not want to because we got uh, more chest workouts ahead. So for the incline barbell bench press on the Smith machine, you kind of, as you're going up, uh, really stick your chest out. And you want to go down, as you can see in the video, to about here probably. And then kind of like as you're going down also, kind of think about you're trying to rip the uh, bar apart. And I implement these because uh, C-Bum does. And I tested it out and it works really good. You just gotta kinda make sure that the incline is in the right spot and you puff your chest out. The same form on bench press, but it just incline. So I forgot to do a chest and then back and another chest workout. I kind of just did two chests in a row, but I forgot to mention you should uh, do chest, back, chest, back. So it's like kind of like a super set. I love that. Uh, I do that, but like this video, I forgot to for the first two workouts. But with lat pull downs, I was kind of noticing that you don't want to bend your back too much. Uh, just think about it as a assisted uh, pull up. Like as you're pulling up, uh, you don't really do that to your back as much. So just think about it as a pull up, but instead of a, uh, the pull up bar, you go into the pull up bar, uh, the pull up bar going to you. That's how I kind of look at lap pull downs. And I do about three to four sets of 12 to 15. Uh, same thing, you know, the first two sets should be, I usually go to like close to failure, and then the third or fourth set, I go failure, drop set, 
you know, failure again, drop set for the third and fourth set. Uh, some people might not agree with it, but I see a lot of results from it. mid is if you have straps or use straps just because sometimes uh, your forearms like uh, step in and take most of the load uh, off the weight so straps kind of forces it so it forces your lats or back to have a couple more sets uh, but if I don't feel like I have like a good second set uh, I kind of drop set my third and fourth set uh, but don't bend your back, like don't arch it like how I did. Um, I kind of always fix it. Like I always fix things I do. And you know, if you have to light the weight to have better form, that's way better. Like heavy weight, bad form is worse than lower weight and good form. For the chest flies, make sure you're like sticking your chest out and you're not rounding your elbows, or not elbows, but uh, shoulders. Like don't round them uh, because if you do, you're gonna feel it more in your front delt. And you can just really stick your chest out, bam, and like kind of like that midway. And then I do like three sets of like 12 about uh, failure to each one. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna ride in the sun. Step two, do some good, some cool to you. Step three, go real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. chest exercise I was supposed to only do seven exercises today but I did I'm gonna do a total of eight just because I did two chests like back to back which I meant to do chest and then back so I'm kind of just getting my chest like fired up again uh, but usually I would only do seven exercises and it's kind of funny because this is my first uh, chest and back workout ever from doing this and I like it you know for me and I feel like it's a really good workout so for the neck exercise I like to do the V grip uh, I changed it up a little bit just because you know if I'm not feeling the first one uh, which I was feeling it but I just want to change it up so uh, these work out my lats more than my mid back probably but you kind of want to like pull in a little bit and don't like sway like that but you kind of want to like as you're going up uh, you push back and you squeeze your lats, you squeeze your whole back and it will literally like my lats are literally cramping and as you can see in the footage I'm literally like and it's okay if you do this kind of gather yourself like just stop and like oh my god fuck and then just keep going and then I drop set the third and fourth set about if I do four sets I usually do like three sets but if I'm feeling it I do another set and uh, I might like do less sets so like one less set but I just love working out I love you know getting that working So happy. So literally, I lat spread. And I swear to God, I could fly off. Like, <laughs> like my my lats are actually getting bigger. Like if you look at my old videos and when I would lat spread, like the muscle dense mm -hmm. was way less thick. Like, see? Let's see. I don't want to get anybody's well. So 
so for the cable flies, people think it works your upper chest like these ones, but I thought so too, but I looked online. It works your uh, under part of your chest and like this part, so it really gives that defined look. And I like working that part out. Uh, I haven't really, I it's kind of lacking for me. And I just started working it out and I can see major progress in my, sorry, my chest and like this part of the chest. And people won't think you should train this part of the chest, uh, but they're like kind of neglected sometimes. Uh, but this exercise kind of works here and then under. Uh, and I really recommend doing three sets of like 12 to 15. Uh, failure for each one. Uh, I just like doing that because it's not as much of a compound movement so you can kind of get away with it. So for the next exercise for this one, uh, the barbell row, I like doing row exercises just because it works out my back really good. Uh, I do lat focus, so like about uh, shoulder width apart. So my fingers are on the ring, the beginning of the rings on the barbell. And I really, uh, my back is kind of sh uh, straight. Uh, I'm like down kind of like this. And I kind of like go into it, I squeeze my lats and I slowly go down and extend. Um, I do about three to four sets uh, of like six to eight or like eight to ten about sometimes. Uh, just because this is like a heavier uh, movement and if you need straps, I really recommend it. Close uh, grip lat pull down the V grip. I never do these before, but I had like my before I started, I had to look up a video, and it's not like a lat pull down where you're under the uh, the lat thing and you like kind of bend your back and then go up like this. You're kind of like distant away from it, like kind of like a little like angle from it, and then you squeeze and you really squeeze your back. You gotta bend your back, and I I felt these in my last my whole back, and it felt really good. And I just, I love it. I almost start doing this more. And uh, at the time of the recording, uh, I changed one thing with my back workout. I'm always changing shit, which I shouldn't, but I added something. Uh, so I'm doing eight exercises instead of this seven. Uh, but I still recommend doing this workout. It's really good. <laughs> So for the last exercise, uh, I kind of like this. I was trying it out, and this ain't like really my set workout. Uh, it is an eight. I kind of implement different things, like for the rear delt flies. Uh, before uh, I did face pulls, and I still like face pulls, uh, but sometimes you float more in your traps. And when I did the like a couple days ago when I did the machine rear delt fly, I didn't really like. I liked it, but the next day you feel it in your fucking traps. Like my friend grip check my traps out like oh my god man like, you will feel it in your traps more than your rear delts uh uh i tried to do like a different workout i tried to do like something like this with, with the cable i just didn't like it i didn't really get good mind to muscle connection but with the rear delt flies uh you kind of want to position your chest like this area a little bit above and kind of think about the base of the uh bench the, where, where the wheels are you kind of want to be above it with your hands and then you kind of push back and you really can feel it and with this i do three sets because uh, with every back workout, I feel that my rear delts for some reason, uh, you know, of course you are, I feel like you're, you're supposed to, I don't know if you're not supposed to be feeling your rear delts for most of your back workouts, let me know, and I would appreciate that, uh, but 
you know, usually one or two workouts for your rated out, which are pretty good. And I work them on like sometimes my shoulder days. Or I kind of uh, wanted just to do a full workout just because if you don't have a chest and back day, y'all could do this. And I really recommend it. Uh, if you're doing the video, make sure you subscribe with Nodies on. And also like the video so like, uh, uh, the algorithm shares my video more so I can motivate more people uh, to work out. And also uh, comment uh, your favorite bodybuilder. I don't know. So I'll see y'all <laughs> next video, man. Peace.